my channel and my very first YouTube video. Today I wanted to do a comparison and a review on my two Louis Vuitton Speedy Bandoliers in the Damier Ben print and in the monogram print. Love these bags so much that I got two prints. <laughs> so I wanted to kind of talk about why and what made it such a great bag. Um, first, let's go over the measurements. It's obviously 25 centimeters, which is what the bag is named after. Um, but in inches, it is 9.8 inches long. And it is 7.5 inches high and 5.9 inches wide. Both bags come with a three-part strap, two ends that clip, and then a center one that you can make the bag into a crossbody. On both bags, I have purchased an additional piece, which is the crochet or the key bell. And um, I really like that piece a lot. Um, I know I would lose my keys if I didn't have that. <laughs> And I think it's also just very cute on the bag as well. So, I also, just this week, got a purse organizer from Original Club. Let me take it out and show it to you. And it fits in both bags. I have not used it yet. Um, just got it a day or two ago. But I picked a light pink color and so I want to try today putting the items from the monogram with no organizer into the one with the organizer, just seeing if the same amount of things fit inside. Uh, the reason I chose the light pink is because I have a lot of Rose Ballerine small leather goods and I'm a little nervous to use them inside of this gorgeous red interior. I do have the newer models on both and they have the zippered pocket. I haven't really put much in there. It's a pretty slim pocket. Um, and, uh, you know, I'll put a few business cards or something, but it's really hard to get your hand in that pocket. Um, the mouth opening on the Speedy B25 is very narrow as well. But I found that it really doesn't bother me once I got used to it. Just turn things sideways for the most part to get them in. So the main differences in the two are going to obviously be the canvas prints, but the real difference is the leathers. The treated leather on the Damier Ben versus the non-treated Vaquetta on the monogram. The monogram one, you're going to have to be careful in weather um, to carry it out in the rain, be careful if you have hand lotions on, you know, you don't want to get water spots or, you know, ruin the beautiful color of your bag. Until it gets a dark patina and it's protected, it's kind of vulnerable at this stage. Whereas the Damier Ben, completely carefree, you can carry it in rain. I don't ever worry about if I have lotion on or if my hands are just barely damp after washing them. You're not going to hurt this bag. However, if you want the bag for cross body use, which is why I did buy this one, the Dummy Ben was my first bag. Um, it's not very comfortable for cross body, the Dummy Ben. Um, if I had the exact same amount of items in both bags, the Dummy Ben strap will just start to dig into my shoulder, especially when it's cross body. Whereas the same amount in the monogram, it's very comfortable and I don't feel it at all. Um, so that's really part of why I got this one. I, I do live somewhere where it rains a lot, so I do use this one a lot more, but I usually carry this without the center piece on the strap, and I carry it as a shoulder bag. Whereas this one, I tend to do a little bit more crossbody with that. So let's try the organizer in and just see how that works and how it fits. And there is, on the inside of both of them, a D-ring. So you can clip your keys to it if you would like. And the organizer has to go in sideways, just like about everything else that you put in these bags. <laughs> and so, 
show it to you empty. There's uh, two large spots if you wanted to do a water bottle or large sunglasses pouch. And then there's little uh, compartments on both sides as well for smaller items. So let's empty out the monogram into the event. So the first item that I have is going to be my toiletry pouch 19. Um, it's just full of makeup, my gum, a little mini hairbrush, just all the little essentials that you may need during the day. Sideways, it goes down in there and that fits just fine even with the organizer. And the next thing that I have is a full size zippy wallet in the Damier Ben print. This is the biggest wallet that I own. And a lot of times if I'm gonna go crossbody, I will go with a smaller wallet just to make the bag lighter and a little bit easier to manage. Um, my mini pochette. Also, if I'm wanting to go crossbody, sometimes I'll leave the toiletry pouch 19 out, bring this and a mini wallet, and that really, really cuts the weight down a lot. I have my Damier Ben key clay, which will fit in one of these little side pockets that comes with the organizer. And I have a a monogram key clay which has earbuds in it it will fit in the other side pocket organizer uh, sunglass pouch in the mm size Let's see if i can stand that up in the side where the water bottle goes no because the um the uh wallet and the toiletry pouch are too big but there is plenty of room to put that in on the top and the last thing that I carry with me is just a little package of tissues. So everything did transfer. It didn't uh, take up as much extra room as I thought it would. Sometimes the organizers um, just tend to you know, take away some of the space when you have a, a big black hole like one of these bags. So that's good to know. So wear and tear. This is the one I've had the longest. I've had this almost a year, and I have used it quite a bit. Um, I don't really see hardly any wear and tear on it. A little bit, maybe just a little bit of scratching on that ring. And something interesting to note on both bags, the clip is a much shinier gold than the ring. And also then, the rivets and the hardware. I asked them why in the boutique one time. See how that's just a lot shinier. They said it was to keep this part, the, the ring that it clips onto from being too scratched, which doesn't make sense to me because I have several bags that um, come with detachable straps and they all match. The only ones that don't match that I've ever seen are the Speedies. But it didn't bother me enough to not purchase the bag. I don't really look at this, you know, the hardware while I'm carrying it. The uh, leather, I have no wear whatsoever on the piece. There's no wrinkling on either side. The bottom corners get that where you can see it. Nothing, no wear. The only thing I did have wear on, which I noticed yesterday, was the lock. It was very tarnished. I don't know if you can see the lock is made in France. It is not on my other bag. and These are both made in USA bags. Um, it was very tarnished. And I didn't have any brass cleaner, so I went online and Googled how to clean it. And somebody said on their blog to try ketchup. And amazingly enough, it worked. Of course, I took it off of the bag first <laughs> and then did the ketchup. Just wiped a little bit on there with a dry cloth and then polished it with a different cloth and, and rinsed it off. 
and you know, it looks as good as new to me. They are great bags. I highly recommend the size 25. Uh, I can actually take everything from my Neverfull and fill it up into this bag. It holds so much and they are so cute. Just wanna show you one more thing that I love to do with these bags, which is just add a very inexpensive little palm and it just like changes the look up and makes it, I think, a little bit more dressy because these are kind of casual bags. But you can carry them three ways, of course. You can do shoulder, you can do, uh, that was not my shoulder, that was handheld. <laughs> you can do handheld, <laughs> you can do shoulder, and you can also do crossbody with a long strap. And one thing I would say to note, if you were looking to buy the monogram version of the bag, is a lot of them that I saw, the end pieces were extremely wrinkled. I don't know if that is gonna, there we go. Mine has a tiny bit there at the top, but um, some of them were really, really wrinkled. It's going to wrinkle. It's it's like a Neverfull. It's leather, it's soft leather. It is eventually going to wrinkle the strap and you know around the Damier Ben I don't think will. But I just wanted to be the one to wrinkle it my own self. I didn't want it to come wrinkled. <laughs> There's no wrinkling underneath the handles on this one at all. The Damier Ben has a slight, slight wrinkle under one handle. Let's see if I can get that to show up. But it came that way from the store and it was very slight and it's never gotten any worse. But truly great bags. I highly recommend the size 25. Very, very versatile. Um, I think for a lot of people, the 30 is a little bit big for crossbody. Some people really enjoy the bigger crossbodies, but uh, I think 25 is perfect crossbody size. Thank you so much for tuning in to watch. Hope you have a wonderful day and uh, thanks for sitting with my first video. Hopefully I will improve. I was a little bit nervous today. Thank you. Bye-bye.